All right, Eddie Jones seemed to have a problem. We didn't couldn't understand. It seemed yeah. illogical at the time for us, but he seemed to have a problem with picking you. Bizarrely slated you a bit in his book. Must have been very refreshing when you saw Steve get the job. Um, wh- why do you think Eddie refused to give you a proper run? I don't know. I think sometimes you, I don't know. You have relations. There's, there's people that love Eddie, and there's people that have the opposite opinion. And I don't think he's a a bad bloke at all. I think um, I must have given an impression of myself when I first went into camp that probably didn't suit the way he wanted his his players to be, and that's something that I couldn't I couldn't change because I wasn't in in the squad uh, long enough for him to see a different side to me. I think towards the end of the summer of twenty one. I think um, he saw a change in in me, and I think what he obviously was seeing before that he didn't like um, clearly wasn't there anymore. Um, and obviously, then I got injured and wasn't really in the mix. And I think, uh, yeah, to see to have Steve in camp, he's um, he's been a breath of fresh air. I think for the whole team, um, he's very honest and kind of gives you his opinion um, and will push you to be to be to work harder and to to fight for the team and I think that's the main thing I think there's a lot of respect I have for, for both Eddie and for Steve um, but I think um, for me so far I think my relationship with Steve has been really good um, and he's got the best out of me and uh, hopefully there's there's more to come with that So you're saying if you end up facing Australia in the World Cup somehow you'd enjoy being selected against Australia and shoving one up him <laughs> Yeah I think to be honest with you if we faced them where Potentially, we could face them. I'll just be happy with the win. Uh, but yeah, no, it'll be a, a silver lining um, in the background uh, to have got one over. But um, yeah, the main thing for this team, I don't think we have any like personal agendas with any with any players or teams. I think we just want to win as a team, um, no matter who's who's the coach or the players against us. Um, but yeah, no, everyone I'm sure will have their own individual reasons for wanting to win that game, especially. Mm-hmm. Beat Eddie that little bit as well. Yeah, but okay. Yeah, potentially. <laughs> classy, classy, classy. Class, class, class. Yeah. Um, but Ollie, what highlight to us the main difference between the two uh, sort of training camp experiences and and the camp experiences that you've had uh, under Eddie and under Steve? I think there's a lot. I think there is a lot of differences between the two coaches and different styles. But I think the main thing for me is the environment. Um, I personally, for me, I'm not going to speak on behalf of the people, um, but for me personally, I felt like I could be myself more within within this England setup and within this team. Um, I wouldn't say I felt restricted, but I'd say I was probably more on edge when Eddie was there. And I, I don't know why that is. Maybe just the way he is as as a coach and how he how he decides to coach and how he likes his environment to be is different to Steve. But uh, I've got nothing but huge respect for Steve and the way he's managed to come in and get this team so tight already. Um, and I've managed to to feel like I can free myself up and play play to my best because I don't have the weight on my shoulders of feeling stressed at all. I'm just constantly just focusing on getting better and, and training hard, um, which inevitably will hopefully get you in selection. And then I guess the what, what happens on the weekend happens on the weekend. That's just a, an 80-minute performance. But yeah, in terms of the training and stuff, I definitely feel a lot more comfortable in camp and I'm really enjoying it and being around this squad and, and building as a team. Saying that then, so like saying the boys feel more comfortable in themselves, because I'm sure that is the case. I think people will be able to come out their shells a bit more. Who's who's got the best crack in camp at the moment then, since you've been in? Uh, who, who are the jokers? Who are the boys taking the piss? Some of the young lads like Jack Van Portfleet and them, they're always chirping up. And Jack Walker's a good one as well. He's uh, he's always got a bit of crack about him. Same, same with Ant as well. Ant's, Ant's probably up there. And Lenny, when Lenny's in camp, he's always cracking jokes. Um, I think in general, mate, to be honest with you, I think the whole squad, it's just been a completely different environment um, and everyone's everyone's really, really enjoying it, I think, this time around. And I, I don't know what it was like in the summer or the last Six Nations, but um, so far, it's been it's been really good to be back in camp. Yeah, those poor Aussies. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't uh, envy to, to be fair, you're not the first person who's been involved in in Eddie's camps who's who's come on and say and said those exact things about being on edge and you know maybe it's that's the way that he operates and it seems to have worked. Yeah. But speaking of coaches um, as well, you you've worked with some incredible ones in your career. Can you tell us what it's like working with Kevin Sinfield and how he's managed to get the best out of you? Uh, yeah, Kev's. Uh is also like a, a incredible bloke left and we would forget like the rugby side of things just off the field as a as a person and what he's done um over the, the last few years and his rugby career. I think that just sums him up as a bloke. Like he's an incredible person. 
Um, and he's like, uh, you know, you come across those coaches sometimes and you, you want to play for them as well. Um, and I think with Kevin, um, I don't know why I just called him Kevin, actually. I've never called him Kevin <laughs> in my life. Um, especially with Kev, like he's just he's just a great bloke. Um, and he he's the first to like admit a mistake or if he, he's unsure about something, like he'll have your input on it. Um, and like that player coach relationship, I think is is vital, and I think he's got like the best part of it, and he's he's really pushed us with our defence, and we're only getting better and better as as each week goes on, and we're nowhere near the finished product, but he's 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 pushing us each day and each week for us to get united as a team, and um, each weekend hopefully showing that white wall in defence, and that's the what we're striving for so far. Quick one on how excited you are about having uh, Rise or Buddy uh, Finn Russell playing inside you next season? Yeah, no, nah, pretty exciting to be honest. I've uh, I've had a couple of chats with him over the over the, the last six months and um, yeah, I'm excited. I mean, he's playing his, probably some of his best rugby at the moment um, and I think it'd be stupid to say you wouldn't be excited to have him in your team and I can't wait to see how our attack will flourish with him, with him being at 10. So uh, yeah, very exciting. I think it's a, an exciting signing for the club um, but more importantly, yeah, I can't wait to be on the back end of some, uh, some wide passes from him. Some of the boys won't be standing up. They're saying, where's all the other fucking money going? <laughs> He's taking it all. He's taking the whole budget. <laughs> How are we going to eat? Uh, exactly. <clears throat> now, it'll be good. I think uh, I think everyone's excited for him to come. I think such a big name and uh, uh, once, in a, once in a generation generational talent. So, um, yeah, I can't wait to have him there. He'll be kicking about in his Louis Vuitton jacket. Yeah, yes. Exactly, yeah. Exactly. I can't wait to see what car he pulls up in or where he's going to live. Probably going to hire the whole of Bath out, rent rent probably three houses and put them all together. <laughs> no, he's a good boy. I love him. He's a good lad. <laughs> awesome uh, performance and victory for you on Saturday, Ollie. Talk us through uh, the celebrations on Saturday night. Uh, they were pretty low key, to be honest with you. And that, that's no, no word of a lie. We just kind of went back to the hotel. Um, uh, some of our partners were there and just had a few drinks within the hotel. It was nothing, nothing crazy. Um, I'm sure we'll save that till the, after the last game um, against Ireland. But no, it was good. I think it was a really important win for us. I think it was the first time we'd won there since 2017. Um, and the biggest points difference we'd had since 2003. So um, it was a huge step forward for us. It's always tough playing in Cardiff. Um, I don't think it's ever been an easy battle and fair play to them because obviously everything that's going on in, uh, in Wales at the moment Um yeah, but I think it was as important for us to get the win and hopefully we can take that momentum through to, to Twickenham um, in two weeks' time against France. You boys jump through to their change room, go and catch up with a few of them? Yeah, I caught up with uh, obviously Josh Adams and Owen Williams I know quite well, so I went and caught up with them um, and a few of the lads went and go when I saw their mates with Macca, when I saw Toby, Falatau and a few of the boys. But yeah, no, it was good to, good to go and mingle with those boys um, and say it's been a while since I've seen them. And were they saying it had been a tough old week with everything going on? Yeah, I think it was just there was so much uncertainty as to what was going on. Obviously, they were fighting for obviously the the whole pay situation. Um, so I think it was it's been tough for them. Obviously, I can kind of relate similar to when I was with Worcester and the whole the whole negotiations there as to what was going on. Um, so yeah, it was it was tough um, from the sounds of things. But they they I mean they played they still played very well. Um, and after everything that went on, I think um, I've got huge respect for them. That very moment. You dot the ball down, made it look very simple, like classic, tra- you know, training dot down in the corner. Take us through exactly how you felt, knowing that you basically sealed the win. Yeah, no, it was pretty special. To it's always special to score. I mean, everyone loves scoring tries, um, but obviously on the international stage, in front of all those all those fans, um, was was amazing, um, and it kind of just ticked off the perfect day. Really, obviously, we got we got the win and managed to get on the score sheet, and I think we took a massive a massive step forward in in a, in the way we played. Um, so yeah, yeah no, it was it was enjoyable. Um, I was just kind of relief, really. Obviously, we kind of let them get back into it in that second half, um, especially with that try that they scored early on. Um, and it was good to just kind of that was kind of the the final the final straw um, that kind of sealed the win for us. But yeah, that's it. See, so you're fifteen ten seventy five minutes five minutes to go fifteen ten up, and like, yeah. that's exactly what I was going to ask you. It looked almost like when you scored that, you're like fucking. It looked like relief. Like, was there a little yeah. bit of relief and excitement? Because the pressure yeah, was definitely. on, eh? Yeah, no, Wales kind of turned up the heat a bit towards that that back that back 20, but we we stuck in it and we uh we managed to get our half and, and kind of stay out. Um and I think we just built those phases building into 
into that last 10 minutes uh, and we managed to yeah squeeze over in the corner Slade York was just fell short um, I said to him if he reached for it or had a bit, bit more strength he probably would have gone over himself uh, but yeah no I had the easy walk in uh, thanks to some good hands from uh, from Mitch and Freddie um, so yeah no, that, that was uh, that was pretty special yeah it was pretty special always nice to win away and uh, first time for me at Principality so yeah it was good <laughs> 